Welcome to this new video about KOE. In the previous video, we have explored the configuration of the catalog, and so today we will look at Overview, also called Dunning Configuration. By default, each new tenant comes with an empty Overview configuration, which means there is no action taken for customers that do not pay their bills. Configuring the Overview system is also done independently for each tenant. In a nutshell, the configuration consists in specifying a set of stages that each delinquent customer account will go through. Each stage can define some actions that the system will take automatically, but it can also be used outside of the Kill Bill Core system, for example, in a plugin to take additional actions such as sending emails to customers. The transition from one stage to the next is based on a set of conditions which are also configurable. Similarly with what we have seen for catalog configuration, one can specify a set of overdue stages either by uploading an XML file directly into the system or simply by using the KAUI interface which provides a friendlier way to interact with the system. Note, however, that in the case of overdue configuration, there is no versioning, and so each update replaces the previous XML configuration. Let's define three stages for our streaming video tenant. First, we can see that by default, there is one clear stage which is the default stage for accounts that are up to date. Let's add a new stage called Warning 1 that will kick in three days after the first unpaid invoice and we will not specify any actions. We simply need to specify the name and an optional message that could be displayed to the customer. Let's now add another similar stage called Warning 2 that will kick in 10 days after the first unpaid invoice, but this time we will also prevent the user from making any changes in the system. For example, no ability to upgrade. Finally, let's add a new stage called Disabled that will kick in 13 days after the first unpaid invoice and which will be configured to cancel all subscriptions at the end of their invoicing period to avoid any proration credit. The first two stages could be used to notify the user by email so they get to update their payment method and the last one to cancel the service. Note that we have open sourced a notification plugin which can also be used to listen to such overdue events and send the email appropriately. We can now review the, conf the current configuration and also visualize the full XML configuration that was generated by the system and see the three stages that we have configured. Similarly to the catalog, one can start with the Easy API and then modify the XML by hand and re-upload such XML to the system by going back to our form and clicking on Enable Advanced Configuration. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for additional Kawi video.